Okay, I got a message from a, a friend off of YouTube saying that my previous video um, about my ballet shoes really sucked. Uh, <laughs> I still do have a cold, but um, I'll try to redo the, the video and make it not suck. And here's Sasha, who uh, for some reason loves my Capizio arias. Uh, like I said uh, in the other video, which I'm going to take down uh, eventually because it apparently sucked. Um, I got these through a long story and Sasha is absolutely he, he can't stop licking them. Um, but anyway, they do fit. Uh, they're a little rounded in one corner inside the box where it kind of hurts my big toe a little bit, but I will deal with it. Um, they are, they have a very long vamp, and the box is hardened all the way to here, which, where's my thumb? Way, way back here. I, I don't know anybody who needs that, so... Uh, I'll work on that, but when the time comes, because I'm a long way from dancing on point at, at this point. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, this is a comparison. Of course, these are two different sizes. This is a comparison of the um, an ancient Capizio Contempra, which I used in the early 80s, um, to the, uh, the Aria. Of course, the Aria has a big square box. And, well, square uh, platform and box. Um, the Contempora back in the day was the Sasha <laughs> was the, the broadest um, box available in like I said in the other video. Back in those days ballet uh, point shoes tended to be <laughs> Sasha stop it. <laughs> Sasha Tended to, I don't know whether to put this as um, Adventures of a Siberian Cat or as a point shoe video. But anyway, um, back in the day, uh, point shoes tended to be very pointy. Um, they didn't make these big, broad boxes like this. And um, when they came out with Contempora, I remember reading in, in one of the ads, uh, <clears throat> they were coming out with them because of what they called the sneaker generation. Uh, we all had wider feet because we were walking around in sneakers instead of like the old dancers who walked around in, in uh, uh, pumps. So I don't know if that was actually true, but that's what they said. But uh, yeah, these are really beat up and they're too small, so I'll never wear them again. But keeping them for old times' sake. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so the Aria. It has a suede interior and uh, nice broad platform. Um, I, I'm not going to darn these. Um, I, I've seen a lot of dancers online darning the tips of their toe shoes. Back in the day when I was doing all this stuff decades ago, um, darning was considered a thing of the past. And, you know, we, we, we would hear, oh, you know, ballerinas used to darn their, the tips of their toe shoes. Nobody does it anymore. And, in fact, we, a lot of dancers in my day would just trim the satin off the tip of the, the shoe and maybe put some moleskin there. Um, but the darning just wasn't done, and actually I consider it rather ugly. Uh, they, they always, darn shoes always seem to look dirty to me. Um, it's just not a preference of mine, so it's not something I'm ever going to do. But anyway, those are the Arias. And that's the old Contempra. I'll put that one down there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And... Okay, I'm going to get out the blocks. I think these are Dramatica which is one thing my, my friend pointed out to me that I neglected to mention in the last video. Uh, they are elasticized satin 
They are much more forgiving in terms of how how tough the box is um, than the Compizios. Uh, nice broad platform. I got that on there. Yeah. Um, very stretchy, and they fit like a glove. Uh, they do have the split sole, uh, but I, you know, I don't see where that cuts down on the amount of support you get. They're they're just as supportive as the Capizios. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So these I'll probably use second once I get back up on point. I'm going to use the Aryas first. But uh, as you can see, Sasha has already damaged them. I'm going to have to hide them away from him because he loves the glue on there or whatever it is at the finish on there. He just eats the heck out of it. He went after him right the moment I took him out of the box, too. He never did that with any other shoe. Okay, so can't wait to get to these blocks though because they are so comfortable. The only thing, whoop, wonderful. The only thing I didn't like about the the blocks is that they have a. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, piece of gel, and that's actually painful. So uh, I'm going to take that out. Yeah, because that, that's actually painful. That It really is not soft enough. And it doesn't do you any good where it is. So, I'm going to... Thankfully, it comes out easily. Um, Alright, what fell on the floor here? Well, I'm not going to show you what kind these are. Because, like I said in the other video, I don't like them. Uh, they are a soft shoe uh, with a formed heel for some reason. Um... They are meant to help build foot strength. They don't. Um, I mean, really, this is this is how they've been. There's no support there. There's no challenge for your foot. And I think it just real. No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, they're very cushy. They make a good bedroom slipper. But I just don't see them building up anyone's feet. So. If you're looking for that out of a, uh, a ballet slipper, I don't think you're going to find it. Like I said, I have an old pair of Sancha recitals that I'm transforming into um, demi point shoes. Uh, I forgot to bring them into this room so they won't be in this video. Uh, those will probably do a better job even though I did an uneven job of removing the shank because uh, the shank was encased in some kind of resin. I'd never seen anything like that before um, and I, I couldn't remove it evenly on both shoes. Um, so it's going to be almost like a, a regular point shoe. But these, like I said, make good bedroom slippers. I, I wouldn't use them in class or anything. And these I'm saving for class in case the teacher won't let me wear demi point shoes. Uh, these are a stretchy block. I forget the name of them. Block does not mark their shoes with the names. I don't think any of them do. Let's see here. No. But the whole shoe is elasticized. It's elasticized canvas. They fit like a glove. And uh, actually quite flattering to an ugly foot like mine. So they're, they're, they're kind of nice. Um, I want to show you one thing though. You know, a lot of, yeah, you were probably wondering, what, what's she going on about the shank? The shank is what makes the toe shoe, or the point shoe, um, supportive for your foot. Um, it's generally layered between two layers of sole, or more, as I saw in the uh, in the Sancha, there were more than two layers, uh, plus a layer of plastic right there. There's a shank right there, you can kind of see, it's the second layer there. And that is not resined in there. I don't understand why the Sanchas were like that. But that was a nightmare trying to get that out of there. 
Anyway, so there's my brand new completed point shoe and ballet shoe review. And uh, of course, I'll get back to you in about a year when I start wearing the Capizios, and in about two years when I get to the the blocks, which I'm really looking forward to. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.